now with uh, Bill Harris with Acer Gardens. He's going to try to make your environment more enjoyable, your home, workspace. Thanks so much for joining us, Bill. Thank you for having me. I'm um, trying to get the green thumb this summer. Uh, I got some plants recently and they died, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay. But what do you have for us today? Well, we've got all these different types of plants. We have shrubs, we have perennials, we have mm -hmm. some annuals. And I'm going to talk about how we can uh, make them flower better from now until frost and promote healthy growth. So uh, the first thing I'd just like to talk right. about are some of the tools that you would need. Quickly, need a pair of clippers, Felcos. Um, I've had these for about 35 years, and um, I'll probably have them for another 35 years. Excellent pair. Another thing that you might need are shears oh, well, in some cases. That's intimidating. <laughs> Not too intimidating. Okay, they have to be that big. And then handsaw. Okay. And then finally, a pair of loppers. <laughs> Mostly what you'll be using are your hand shears. Okay. So, we've got two types of planters here. These are annual planters. We have a sun planter, we have a shade planter. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things will get a little long, a little lanky. You want to come in, give them a little nip. So, Bill, you're cutting the, the dead stuff off? Well, not necessarily right. cutting the dead stuff off. You're cutting actually live parts of the plant uh -huh. so that it encourages growth back to the inside. In this case, this is just foliage, but in this plant right over here, this terrenia, sometimes right. it can get long and lanky. You want to come in and you can just nip right across. You try to hide your cuts so okay. you go underneath the plant. Like you're cutting hair. Exactly. Nice. You okay. layer your cuts, not necessarily as tight as that, but you would layer your cuts and bring it up. This will encourage growth back to the inside. Now, Bill, if there is a dead area, would you cut that out? Well, that's, I was Googling. Sometimes you would cut it out. <laughs> okay. Other times you cheat, you take the whole plant out, you replace it with a good looking plant. I think that's what people do. I think that's okay. what most and people it, try to buildings, do. Yes. The same thing with this planter over here. We have calabrocoa growing mm -hmm. into this uh, penicetum over here. So instead of having it grow up into it and concealing it as this is growing, you start to nip out pieces of it. The ageratum, sometimes the ageratums can flop open. Again, you would cut into the plants so that you encourage healthy growth. If plants start to grow over one another, cut them back. Now this is just for annuals. Uh, Bill, what's a great plant for the summer? As far as an annual, mm -hmm. a lot of what you see in here, yeah. this is why I chose this plant, are the calabrocoas. Yeah. They clean themselves. You don't have to pull off dead flowers like you would in some cases, like with a petunia. Yeah. Um, all this lobularia, the verbenas, all these should last right until frost. So it's an excellent plant to have. And that grouping of plants could actually be separated apart if you were doing sections in your yard that were in the ground. How about all year round in your home? In your home, in your home, you can choose plants like begonias. Mm -hmm. This planter actually could come inside. You mm -hmm. would take your begonias out. That could go right through the uh, winter, right through the winter with you. But many of these, all these plants here, the perennials, the yep. shrubs, that would just be seasonal. It would seasonal. take you from, let's say, somewhere in March all the way up and through November until you start getting hard frost. Okay, so once we get the hard frost, they're not going to last. Can we talk about my little office plant? Sure really like this fern and uh, <laughs> it's I guess I don't have a green thumb but it's kind of dying on me Bill. Well in some cases your fern like your palm over there you mm -hmm. have in the corner. Well, what can, am I doing? Am I overwatering it? Not watering enough? And I, I've been giving it some Fiji water, and that's not working. You're probably you're probably overwatering it, but I would <laughs> change the potting soil in which it came with. Okay. But there there are moments in which you have to part with your plants. So it's, you don't think it's going to come back to life? Um, there are times that you have to start over. Can I show you one more? Sure. Because uh, I did buy three palm trees um, around February. Okay. And they were absolutely beautiful uh, when I got them home. I don't know if we can see it. They were absolutely beautiful, and uh, this is kind of what happened to it. Okay. So I was wondering Palms if I'm... sometimes, as you look at the underside of this leaf. Yeah, what is that white stuff? Um, that could be mealy bug. It could be a woolly scale. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not that well versed actually on indoor plants, but my daughter had one in her apartment. And we went and looked at it. She was getting spider mites all over, and she was spraying with horticultural oil. And 
she parted with it after a time. Once you get to this point, uh, you really want to try to save it. Yeah, it's time for a new palm tree. Time for a new palm tree. Okay, and uh, thanks so much, Bill. I guess right. I'll, I'll keep the Do you want to keep potter, continuing but, uh, with some of these no, plants? I'll, I'll keep the potter, but I'll okay. get, get you a Here are some things that we might need to get. What do you think, uh, um, Bill? Hand clippers yeah. are definite. Um, the scissors. scissors. The reason I mentioned scissors is some people are intimidated with having hand clippers or loppers. You can use a pair of scissors. Okay, well, that's easy. I could do the scissors. And then uh, the hand saw. Yep. Um, and as for other plants that you can encourage bloom and have them go for a longer period of time, people will come to the nursery, wonder why we have plants blooming right through to October and early November. Um, All right. Oh, we've got a little well, hitchhiker Bill, uh, there. Well, Bill, someone wants to visit you. Where can they find you? <laughs> um, 